back to my channel. It is Thursday today and it is a miserable day outside. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, and me and my mom are gonna head to Yorkdale Mall. I haven't been there since pre everything hitting the fan, so probably 2019. <laughs> I haven't been there in so long. So that is the plan today. We're gonna head there. There's some home stores that I want to have a little browse at, you know, see what's up in them. I kinda wanna get some small appliances for my apartment. And yes, so this is my outfit today for the rainy day. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from White Fox Boutique. It's one of my favorites. I love the graphic. I love the oversized fit. So comfortable, so me. My hair is just back in this bun at the back of my head because it is super greasy. I need to wash it, but I'm waiting till tomorrow because I'm going away to a little winery with Aiden and I want fresh hair for that weekend. So we're waiting, so it's in the sleek bun. Then I'm just wearing my Abercrombie dad jeans. These are the least dad looking jeans I've ever owned, but that's what they're called. They fit really nice. I really wanna get another pair of jeans from Abercrombie because they fit perfect. Best fitting jeans I've ever owned. And then I'm just wearing my black platform Converse and my bag is Princess Polly as well. And then I just have all my jewelry on and that's the vibe. And we're gonna head out really soon into the rain to get the shopping started. We made it to the mall. Did you park fine? I don't know. I think you parked fine. The, the, the lots are like... I think you parked fine. There's like a two, three feet between you and that car. No, I mean not this side. Yeah. Yeah, we made it here. We're gonna go in now. We have to get the umbrella ready. I gotta come around to my mom's side because this weather is not it. It's not, not ideal. Perfect shopping weather though. Yes. It's ideal for the mall. We thought that we were late, but it actually turns out that we are super early and the mall is not even open yet. So, good start. But I think they're opening the store super soon. First store is Crate and Barrel. We're gonna go in there and see what's happening. I think this is where I'm gonna get my small appliances from, so we shall have a look and see what's up in there. We're just in the appliance section looking around, and I think I like this toaster. Originally, I was gonna go with a different one. It's a bit cheaper, but this one looks so much nicer. Like, how nice is that looking? <laughs> I love it. It has like all the settings. Look at this, muffin, waffle, bagel, white bread, whole wheat bread. It's so nice looking. This is the other one that I was looking at. Is that the one? The snug ones are nice too, but I don't know. What one do you like? Yeah. That one? <laughs> the furniture in here is so nice. That's so cute. I like it kind of. It doesn't have a ton of storage, but you could do like the two like this beside each other. It's actually quite nice. I like it. <laughs> How much is it? 900. <laughs> Did you see that thing? For both or just for one piece? Just for one. Oh. See that thing in the cabinet? Yeah. It's similar to Home Sense, but it's like 3,000. I weirdly love this like little three mirror situation. Like this is cute, and this is cute, and these are cute. Everything is cute. This little bedroom side is the cutest thing ever, and I seriously wish that my apartment was bigger so that this would be an option, but this would never all fit in my tiny bedroom. <laughs> We are really working with size here. So if you also live in a tiny place, watching me decorate would probably be helpful. If you don't live in a tiny apartment, then I don't know, I can't really help you because my place is gonna be tiny. <laughs> we just went and carried all the bags back to the car in the pouring rain, so my mom's not having the best time out there here. She's a little wet. <laughs> but um Crate Barrel was really successful. I got a bunch of stuff. I got a toaster. I ordered my kettle that I wanted. I got a shower curtain. I got these little cute ceramic dishes to like keep berries in. So cute. I got dish towels. Success. But now we're just gonna head to, where are we going? <laughs> Pottery Barn? No, Pottery Barn. We're doing all of the home decor stores. And for once, I actually wanna go. Remember when I used to hate them? <laughs> Home decor stores used to literally be the entire bane of my existence, but now, with my old mature self, I enjoy them. So, times have changed. 
I love these counter stools, but I don't think they would go with the vibe. These are nice too, this wood one. It's pretty wide though. I feel like I don't have that much room. I need something more narrow would be a smarter decision, but oh, cutlery. <laughs> these are nice too. Ooh, I love these ones. Alright, we are back in the car from the pouring rain situation. Literally have gone back and forth like how many times in the pouring rain. But we got sandwiches. I got this like meat lovers one. How good does that look? Oof. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's so love. I may also got Starbucks, but that was pretty successful. I don't really think I need that much more for the kitchen. All I need is a knife set. Okay, well, that's a lie. I don't have any dishes that I don't have any And so I still have to get dishes and cutlery and um, a knife set. And I guess a blender because I found my blender in the bin, but it's missing the actual part that blends the smoothie. <laughs> I didn't know if I brought it in. Do you have two? Oh, look on the cutter. I thought maybe that I brought it in and that was why. Also, I forgot to update you guys. I figured out last night that my couch, my beloved turquoise blue couch that everyone hates on, but I love, won't fit in my apartment. So I have to get a new couch too. We're basically redecorating every single room now. I thought I had at least one room that I was just gonna move there, but apparently not. It's fine though. No, it would have been a little bit harder to style the blue couch anyways, and I'm probably just gonna get a neutral one. So maybe this is better off. Maybe it's meant to be. I don't know, but we're gonna sit here in the pouring rain and have our Cheers. car picnic. All right, I'm back home and I thought I would just do like a little mini haul of what I got today from the home stuff. So first up, I got these little t kitchen towels. They came in a set of three and I just loved all the different colors on these. They're so nice and they feel like a really good material that would actually dry your dishes properly. So I loved these, got that. Then I'll show you guys one of these. I've always loved the idea of this because I eat a lot of berries and fresh fruit. And I thought these would be perfect. They're like, I think they're called Corian, Col Colanders, Berry Box Colander. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So basically when you get your berries, you can like freshly wash them and then you store them in these and just inside of your refrigerator. So I got two of these for berries, probably like blueberries, blackberries, and then the other one will have like strawberries or something like that in them. I love that for inside my refrigerator. I just thought it was so cute. And then I just got a couple more things. I picked up this shower curtain. I was just obsessed with the pattern on it. I wanted just a plain white shower curtain, but this one had just this really amazing pattern. It's super thick and heavy. I still need to get a liner for it, but I just love this textured pattern of the shower curtain. It was like $98 or something like that, but really, really nice. And I think having a white shower curtain kind of like lets me do a lot of other stuff at the room. Like I really want to do like a nice colored rug. And then for my towels, I'll just pick some color that's in the rug and tie that into it. And then have a nice piece of art, maybe some gold accents, something like that, just to brighten it up. Cause my bathroom's quite like white and plain looking so it needs some like it needs a little bit of spice going on you know last up i got a toaster so this one's by the brand breville and i got it in the matte black color you guys can see it right there in a little sticker but it basically is just a toaster with a lot of functions and i actually eat a lot of toasted goods like bagels english muffins i love stuff like that and i've had crap toasters before that like literally just burn the outside and don't even like toast the bread on the inside, just the worst. So I was like, I want a good toaster that hopefully will last me many, many years. So I got this Breville one. You can select the level of toastage from one to six. 
And then it also has little what like settings for all different things. Like there's one for English muffin, pastries, waffle, bagel, white bread, whole wheat bread. <sighs> it's got like a bit more setting where if you want just like a little bit more toasted, you can do that. It has a frozen setting. It's extra wide and deep for my bagels. Okay, it's perfect. So I got this as well. <laughs> So I picked up that. And then the last thing that I got was just my electric tea kettle. I actually ordered it because they didn't have it in stock. So I had to order it to be shipped here, but it was fine. They waived the shipping and everything and it should come in around like a week. So I'll insert a picture of that one as well. I ended up going with like a cheaper option. I was looking at like the Smeg electric kettles, but I just couldn't see myself spending $200 just to have a thing that boils water. Like, I don't think you can do that wrong. Like, I don't think that a kettle could boil water wrong. So I went with the cheaper option and it's still really nice and it has the matte black. So I feel like it'll go with all of my small appliances now because I obviously also have my matte black Nespresso machine. I have a matte black toaster and I'm gonna have a kettle that's matte black. And I thought long-term that would be a smart decision because then when I get my like bigger place or house down the road and I actually keep all of my appliances like on the counter that everything would match. That was my thought process with that one. And also black never goes out of style, so always be good. But now I have even more stuff. This bottom, this area of my basement is just becoming my storage room for all of my kitchen supplies. Because my plan is, is that like the day I get my keys, I'm basically going to go ahead and just set up my kitchen and bathroom and stuff since I have most of the small things already here. I'll probably just move all that stuff there and set everything up so at least my kitchen and all that stuff is like there and ready for when I actually start moving in furniture. Especially because a lot of the furniture I'm gonna have to buy, which is gonna be a hassle and a half, but how it is is how it is, but. Yeah, I'm just really happy. I feel like that was a really successful shopping trip. I basically have everything that I need now, for the most part, other than dishes and forks. <laughs> Still need those. This is 100% my favorite purchase I've made yet this year. So the stuff fuzzy rope that I got, 60% off. It was like regular $183 and I got it for $60. So I'm very pleased with that. It is so fluffy and like luxe and warm and beautiful and it matches perfectly with my little cute slippers this is gonna be my like everyday morning look because i like to look like a housewife <laughs> like a beverly hills housewife who's going out down her bougie driveway to get her newspaper is the i don't think people even get newspapers anymore so that's what i'm talking about but I'm just working on this video and also packing because I'm heading to the wineries tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm staying at this really nice bed and breakfast in Picton, Ontario, and it should be so, so, so nice. So make sure that you're following me on Instagram if you're not already, because you can go see all the photos that I posted from that trip and I'm so excited, but I've just been packing my little overnight suitcase. Honestly, not that much stuff in here. I have like two outfits pajamas, a pair of sweats, and that's it in this denim jacket. These are my favorite thing that I've bought. Okay, I just said that about the robe, but this is my second favorite thing that I've bought because these are so perfect and they go with everything. I kind of wanted to get them in like a nude color as well because all I wear is like flip-flops. So these ones are by the brand Teaks. You have to size up like a whole size. I believe these are 38s. Yeah, so they are a 38 and I'm normally a size six. So. Bear that in mind if you're gonna order them, size up, but they are like the best. They're just leather sandals. They go with everything and anything. So those are being packed. And I'm so excited because tomorrow morning I'm getting my nails done, which is gonna be like the most exciting. <laughs> I haven't had my nails done in so long. So freaking long. I. Another thing I wanted to get your guys' opinion on. Well, I kind of think I have my mindset, but I want your opinion anyways. You guys can see my regrowth. Look at that. It's dark, okay? And then I just have these like blonde pieces. So I think my plan is I want to go for a more like natural like brunette balayage. I think that's what I'm thinking to do. So I'm probably going to need to get some like low lights put in to match my 
natural color and then with the low lights I'm going to do a balayage but tone it kind of like a nicer maybe like a warm lighter brown so that I have like these balayage warm light brown highlights mixed with like the dark of my natural hair just so that I keep the dimension but I don't have like this because this is just not it and obviously I'm gonna be living in an apartment so I need to budget my money better so Getting blonde is, you know, a little expensive, so. Also, I don't really want to be blonde, but let me know what you guys think of that plan. Do you think that will look good? Please let me know. <laughs> all I think about and all I pin is apartment stuff and hair colors. Like my saved on Instagram is all hair. It's balayage hair. That is the entire thing. And I show them to Aiden sometimes and he's literally like, they all look the exact same. And I'm like, they're not. Okay, good morning everybody. It is the next day and I'm coming on here just to end off this vlog, but I'm gonna keep vlogging in a different vlog because I'm going to a bed and breakfast with my boyfriend and we're gonna go to some wineries and just have a really fun time. So stay tuned for that vlog, it'll be on Friday. I just finished packing. I got all my stuff basically in here other than my makeup. We got some cute outfits planned. It's that having an excuse to wear a cute outfit, you know, it really, really just fuels my spirit and I'm just so excited. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.